Good morning everyone, thanks for clicking. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to check your rain availability along your flight plan on the G1000 NXI. So we are sitting here on the um, Diamond Day 40 engine and this is the G1000 NXI. So, first of all we're going to cut to our flight plan. These are the signals, okay? GPS signal strength. So if you can see here, we have GPS 1, GPS 2. By default, it's set for GPS 1, and it automatically changes to GPS 2 in case any malfunction. So we have here rain and the SPAS. Rain start, uh, indicates or signifies receiver autonomous monitoring. And the SBAS is satellite based augmentation system. Sorry about that. So, yeah, it enhances the GPS signal by comparing another uh, signal from an extra uh, geostationary satellite. And the RAIN, so we click on the RAIN here, we get RAIN prediction waypoint. Click here so we can choose any point along our flight plan. So, in this case, I'm going to choose the furthest one, like we said, is a four, so it's already there with the outer knob. We turn it clockwise and we get compute rate, and then we press enter. Rain is available, and voila. It's pretty easy, pretty straightforward. If you click SBAS, these are the SBAS selection that we have. We have the Ignos, uh, the uh, European one, we have the Ross, the uh, US, and the Gaga. I believe it is the Indian one. The region here in the Middle East, we don't have any SBAS uh, coverage, so that's why we rely only on rain in case we do need that um, enhanced uh, accuracy but for training flights it's not that required so this is it guys thank you for clicking i hope this video was helpful if you have any questions please leave them in the comments below i'll be more than happy to answer you guys so be safe and happy landings